toxin now in water called astrazine. So astrazine in laboratory will make two male frogs attracted to each other. They'll have sex and changes their sex. It's in our water. It bothers me that how the fuck does the government allow this shit to happen, man? It's like great. You're getting hit daily with your daily dose of toxins. And some of them are castrating you. I will warn you, there's a lot of charlatans in the industry and there's a couple of guys that are getting pretty big that tell you they know when you're gonna die. Yeah. And total bogus, bro. It's okay. total bogus that nobody can do that. But can we push the boundaries and now? Yes. Do hormones cause cancer? Yeah, if they're not bioidentical. Does the hormone inside of you cause cancer? No, it doesn't. It's protective. But because we're running out of that stuff sooner than we're supposed to because of how toxic our environment environment is you need to replace it but now if you replace it with a testosterone that's not like yours then yes your body will attack it lfg fam we just shot a fucking banger right now i can't wait till you hear this shit it's, it's like next level no one's talking about this shout out to our sponsors because without them this shit wouldn't be possible shout out to ringba shout out to adam young the paper call revolution there's big big money in paper call whether you're someone who's a novice looking to get into it whether you're someone's already doing it putting up big numbers let's fucking do this guys get the fucking book on amazon we're gonna drop a link here take your shit to the next level let's fucking go this is gonna be my favorite episode of the lfg show right now I'm fucking pumped. I don't even want to sit down, bro. I want to stand the fuck up, man. I, re I really do. I got so much, like, passion behind what we're going to talk about. I'm here with my man, Dr. Marcos DeAndrade, also known as Dr. D. And, bro, for the longest time, I still have you on my phone as Dr. Dre, man. Oh, a you lot know? of people do that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> bro, it would ring, that, 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 right? This guy, he's a co-founder of Biohacks, which is an anti-aging performance company. I don't even think that that says enough about what you guys do. You guys are doing some amazing shit. You're dealing with high caliber people, next level shit. I mean, you're getting me on the next level, man. I felt like I was already there. You got me like over there and I can't, it's only been a year. So I can't fucking imagine where we're going to go. And I'm excited to have you on the show because, you know, we deal mainly with digital marketers, people that are in paper call, putting up big numbers. But at the end of the day, health is so connected to your performance in business. It's connected to your performance and your relationship. So that's why I'm so excited to have you on your show because you're dealing with celebrities, with major sports athletes. You check out his Instagram, you'll see he posted with somebody. You posted with Jake Paul the other day and Paul Logan, right? Obviously for them to come to you says there's a lot of fucking trust involved. So I'm beyond fucking pumped up. We only have maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I think we're gonna have to do two of these, man, because there's gonna be so much <laughs> fucking information. So Dr. D. Hey. Appreciate you, my brother. Super pumped to have you on the show, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm I'm blessed, graced, uh, you know, for your words and and um, yeah, let's get let's get it popping. Get let's, let's, let's fucking let's fucking go, health baby. and wealth. So let, let's talk about this. So let's get let's go first. Let's jump into this, man. Um, I mentioned you. You when when did you start biohacks? Like, well, tell us about the whole origin of the whole situation. Oh, yeah. bro, when I <laughs> I started bio, I mean, talk rewind. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Uh, eight years ago, no eight. Yeah, I was. Th I'm going to be 39 actually this weekend. So yeah, looking 30. fantastic too. Yeah, by the way. yeah, almost 40, bro. <laughs> almost 40. Um, and um, I was a researcher at Cleveland Clinic here, the one in Florida. After med school, blah blah blah. I wanted to be a trauma surgeon. You know, I was just kind of waiting in line to get into surgery and and uh, you know, uh, just get the diagnosis of depression. And I'm not a depressed guy, man. I was. I'm a happy guy and so forth. You know, hustler from Newark, New Jersey. Just Newark, like New you. Jersey in the Let's house. Go. I just found out about that like a couple months ago. I got you the shirt, Newark's for Hustlers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We take and our medical director from Newark as well. And, <laughs> He's yeah. awesome. So anyways, uh, you know, just I had a, you know, everybody has their go-through, bro. And I had my go-through. I was, you know, pushing hard at a lot of different jobs. Son of a, you know, Im immigrant parents. You know, we did what we had to do to, you know, to live the American dream. And then at 30, I was just like done. I didn't really have depression. Long story short, I... I quit everything. I flew to South America. My mom's from Brazil. Uh, they do a lot of like more functional regenerative medicine kind of stuff there. I flew over there and I uh, met with this doctor, like the celebrity doctor actually. And uh, he's like, bro, you don't have depression. And I'm like, well, so what do I have? And he's like, oh, you have, uh, you have burnout. What the heck's burnout? And he's like, I'm seeing in your blood. I'm like seeing in my blood burnout. You know, if any traditional doctors listening out there, it's like, no, there's no such thing, you know, I, and many docs will dismiss me right now for just Absolutely. what I said and how I presented it. Right. And, uh, but once he, he, he did my salivary cortisol levels, I he saw some on, on another side, he saw chemical toxicities and things that I had issues with hormone imbalances. And I was like, 
bro, is this fixable? He's like, yeah. So in six months, he had me back online. And I felt like Rocky Three or Rocky Four, whatever it is, the comeback story. I felt great. And I had fallen out of love of medicine. I was like, I don't want to do all this crazy medication, all these surgeries. And there's a lot of like dark that I had seen there that I'm like, I, I don't want to partake in this industry. And uh, I went, I got an MBA. I was like, I'm going to be a businessman. But in the process, I knew how to fix myself. I went to go fix myself. And that I was patient number one of biohacks, which didn't even exist at wow. the time. And then uh, long story short, I had a seminars company. I started a seminars company in, uh, um, you know, doing health seminars. So and this companies. was simultaneous at the same time? Yeah, as, as I was on. fixing oh, myself awesome. okay. and learning about this, yeah. I, I opened, a, uh, I started working with that. And then I would talk to guys like you and me, entrepreneurs, and some of them were trending. Their performance was dropping. Some of them were already like dropped. You know, I would get off stage and they'd pull me aside. And it's like, doc. And then boom, just like, doc, I don't feel right or whatever. Uh, I'm losing my my gas in life or, or doc, I'm winning. How do I stay up here? And I'm like, Hey, I can help you. So I started, you know, helping people with the biohacking thing, but it was just like on the side. And it, at first it was free. And then it was like, Hey man, I gotta charge you like 150 bucks, 200 bucks. That was like my initial thing, yeah. dude. And then fast forward just a little bit. I got my first celebrity like huge. That was an idol of mine. How it did went, you get the celebrity though? Just is word of mouth or yeah, I've always been wow. word of mouth. I, I literally did a lady that worked for him. And they saw her transform. I didn't even know she worked for the person. I can't say their name. Unbelievable. Um, but like a legendary rapper, like yeah. one of the greatest of all time. And all of a sudden, I, she calls me. She's like, I need you to see this person. I'm like, who'd you say? And she's like, this person. I'm like, nah. You be she's you're like, I work for him. You're like, yeah. yeah, bullshit. <laughs> she's like, I work for him. I'm like, no. So I, I went there and uh, it was super cool, bro. And then it just, then it just started a cycle, like one yeah. after another. And then people referring and you just do a great job and people will talk and they'll, I mean, you transform somebody and yeah, that's how the company grew, man. I did not plan to, I didn't plan this out. I couldn't plan this out. Damn. That, that's, that's such a great fucking story because it's like you started as a side hustle and also you saw the, you were patient number one. Bro, if you see right, my yeah. before and after, I never showed you my before no, and after. I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. We could probably pop it up on the podcast. Like yeah. when I was feeling like trash, it's it's crazy, dude. Dude, I, I love that story, right? And I, I'll talk about myself. I mean, I, I found you for referral. One of my best friends, the best yeah, man at my yeah. wedding, uh, my wedding, uh, I was calling him Dr. Nick Buffano from New Jersey. Love him. He was, yeah, he's been he's been on doing peptides, and he's always been, he was the kind of guy, we'd go to restaurants in Jersey, he was barring getting the glass water, like the fucking mineral water. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? He's getting too bougie <laughs> for me, right? Meanwhile, I'm getting like the regular water. And he was on to some shit. And now I, I'm the same way. I don't, I don't fucking drink plastic water. I want microplastics in my body, right? That's a whole nother story. But anyway, he, I see him. He's in optimal shape. His business is killing it. Don't get me wrong. You know, he's dealing with the regular shit from running a business. But the guy's on the right trajectory. So, so Tony Robbins, we're both a big believer in him. We both, you know, part yeah, of the yeah, yeah. He says success leaves clues. So when I see Nick crushing it, he's into health. I'm into health. Let me do what he's doing. He's like, yo, you got to talk to my man, Dr. D. He got us connected together. Man. I've been going to you for a year. I refer probably, I don't know, six, 10 people. I have no clue who the fuck. But like, I know they're happy with you, man. And that's what it comes down to. You provide value. It fucking opens up doors. You provide value for that celebrity or their assist, whoever it was. Boom. That got you to one. Then it multiplied, right? Uh -huh. yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And you just, you, you, it's kind of like you build it that will come in my head. Because, I mean, I went to medical school, right? So in, in my head, there, there's no, there's no, bro, I would do this for free. You know what I'm saying? I and love, would, yeah, I, I love it. what I do and I have done it for free, you know, but now I got a lot of staff to pay. I got other doctors yeah, to pay, <laughs> you know, yeah. got to keep lights on. And it's just like, it doesn't even cross my mind not to try the best with somebody, you know, like, okay, let's get this person tip top shape. The only thing that slows me down is if the person isn't committed to themselves, right? If they don't want to do it, it's like, then it's not a good fit, you know? Absolutely. But, but. Bro, you you just do an excellent job with somebody and get them to like change their life, feel different. The key word is feel. And their performance starts to increase. And then they start to, I don't I can't tell you how many times people tell me, hey doc, I'm making more money because of how I feel, how I look. You know, one thing is walking into the room, chubby, you know, no offense out there. I don't hope to offend anybody, but you know, um, the other thing is walking into the room and you walk with a different presence and your own confidence, the electromagnetic frequency that you're releasing in that room like when you're more calm. yeah people are like oh my god there's a difference there dude there's a difference and that's why i came to you right let me tell you the reason i came to you another reason is that i was about to sell my company right we were all we, we were talking to all these private equity companies and they're like interested in our company eight eight figure exit and i'm like i gotta be ready for this shit man i want to be in top shape 
I want to make sure that I'm going to these meetings with a clear, clear head. Unfortunately, during that whole period of time, our earnings went the other way. The valuation dropped 40%. And our company, I mean, my, my partner and I are like, oh, fuck it, we're not going to sell anymore. We're just going to you know, rebuild this whole thing. But in doing that, though, I, I'm so glad I did. I got on the regimen because I was it was stressful, man. We were like, man, are we, we're thinking about selling the company for you know tens of millions of dollars. And now we're like, oh, are we even going to fucking be around, man? Like, what the hell? All these things came together economically that impacted us. But we made some really, really good decisions, right? And I think a lot of decisions that we made, a lot of it was because I had clarity. You know, when I started with you, my, my cortisol levels were through the roof. I forgot the level. I was like sky high. I thought that shit was normal. I'm like, that's just part of being an entrepreneur, right? And then you guys got me on some protocol, DHEA, all these things, NED+. My, my cortisol levels dropped 70%. And that happened during all this time. And I'm glad it did because, like, when you're going through stress, you're emotional. You're making bad decisions. So mm -hmm. I feel like even though we didn't get the end result. Like we were able to get ourselves out of that mess. Right. And I know when it happens, we have the opportunity. We're going to be a lot more valuable because now we're leaner, man. So I, I, I want to thank you for that because oh, appreciate that. bro, I mean, it, and not only that, I go to these shows, I feel like I'm walking billboard for you guys. I'll be on stage <laughs> speaking. I'm like, bro, what the hell Dave? Like, you know, I've always been in good shape, but you guys got me at another level. Like I, I got to get different t-shirt size now, man. You know, oh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah. But bro, you got like you said about that, that aura. I'm a high energy person. I think energy is a, the ultimate currency. People want to be around people with a lot of energy, man. You know, if you have good energy, it's contagious, man. So that goes back to what you were saying, man. What, what are your thoughts? You have other clients that have had that same experience? Are you what, like, like, what's like the best fucking story, like, you know, from one of your clients? Well, bro, I, I have so many stories yeah. of those. It's, I mean. Like like the top one, that like, boom, there. <laughs> I, I, well, for a story, yeah. I remember, I remember, I mean, this, I, I have to be careful with details here, but um, an addiction case. Um Ooh. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very touchy story. You know, this guy comes to me with his wife and it was one of those cases of the wife dragging the guy, her husband to the doctor. He's like, I don't want to go to the doctor, man. Like one of those tough, tough shit. guys, yeah. big, big belly, tired, you know, um, she's telling me that, you know, she's like really pushing to try to get through her marriage. Really good lady, you know, and she's telling me like, bro, this guy eats dinner on his lazy boy chair and like he could put the plate on his stomach. She's like, and she's telling me that she's telling, you know, telling herself, you know, till death do us part, till death do us part. She brings me the guy. And I told the other guy didn't even want to look at me. The guy's like, yeah, okay. Bro. Mm. Um, so then I, uh, I saw his blood and I'm like, bro, you're feeling like this and like this, like this, like this, like this. Right. Cause like you, you can tell a lot of stuff. Just right? by looking at his blood. Yeah. yeah just by, and then I'm like, you're not sleeping, no sex drive, energy's low. Da -da -da. Uh, and the guy's like, starts looking at me kind of a little, you know, a little funny. And um, I I like to really get into it with the person. I really like to take that person in the conversation to step on that mountain of life, take inventory, right? Like what you just talked about, your resilience. That's the key word. Mm -hmm. You know, you were going to sell, you didn't sell and you were resilient to it. And, you know, and you reinvented yourself with your partner. Mm -hmm. You can't do that if your biological footprint Absolutely. is a mess. You cannot do that. Okay. You cannot do that if you're if you're relying on other chemicals, you know, kind of Wolf of Wall Street style, you know, like rah, no, you're gonna burn yourself out. You're gonna rev that engine too hard. You see what I'm saying? And this guy, you know, he takes a leap of faith and he starts the protocol. That guy had to do a massive detox and so forth, et cetera. And um he started the protocol, handed it off to to my team, the docs, and so forth. Never heard from him again. Um, the team was following up lightly, whatever. Bro, but he was on. He was just very not, he wasn't communicating much with the team, but he was, he, later I found out he was doing everything religiously. About six months later, uh, at my old office, I look, I happen to look at, towards the street and this guy just goes, wow, like hits the door open hard, like cracking the floor, like wow. stepping hard in like around into my office. But at the same time I start to look at him, I'm like, whoa, like, whoa. And then he comes close. It was all glass. So I could see the whole, And but his face was just like, I didn't know if that guy was about to like kick my ass, start crying. I mean, his face sense. was just like, and he comes into my office, slams that door open too. He's like, listen, man. And he starts crying. I got to tell you something. But at the same time, I'm looking at him. I'm like, this guy's jacked. <laughs> no, he got really yeah. jacked. To a point, I'm like, he did some other stuff. I'm like, he took like steroids and stuff. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? He's like, you changed my life, dude. And he starts crying. 
he tells me, he's like, you're the first person I'm going to tell this because I'm going to tell this to the rest of my, uh, to my family today, including my wife. He's like, I was addicted to your opioids and I stopped. And he's like, it's been a month. He's like, I don't know how to tell them my family. He's like, but I want to start with you. And he's like, I feel so good. He's like, I felt like crap before. I felt terrible about myself. He's like, because now I feel, that's the key word. I feel good. I was able to throw that stuff out. That's super, and Dave, that's a very, very addicting drug. And he's like, I was able to get rid of that. And he's like, I'm producing more. And then he lifts his shirt up. He's like, look at me, look at me. No, but I'm telling you, the guy got jacked. I'm like, yeah, I see. I'm like, I see you. And he's like, bro, I hugged, I started crying too and all that stuff. Like, and that was way in the beginning. That story motivated me so much, you know, um, and it motivates me. Those wins for me, when I see people winning, yeah, sure, all of us like to get paid, but dude, there's no better paycheck, especially for a guy. I went to medical school for this, not for the medicine they, they taught me how to practice. I went to medical school for this, to win with my patients, with my clients. You, you see what I'm saying? So when I see these wins, bro, it it, it motivates me so much. It's and I, I was broke for years just for the love of medicine. I have failed some exams and it's like, this is my true passion. I'll do this until, when I'm 90, 100, I'll probably go mm -hmm. teach medicine. I probably know I will, you know? And to see people winning like this is, the, I mean, I have tons of stories like that though. That's uh, the one that, that came that, That's amazing, you know, and I've seen the results of this. I was talking about my wife, you know, she's, my wife's very much in health. Her and I have very similar eating pattern. We really connected based on our, love for nutrition, health, wellness, all that sort of stuff. But I, sh I just signed her up. She got blood work with you guys last week. She's going there today Let's to go. examine it, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm pumped up about it. It's just, it's just great. When you feel good, you're just better around your family, and especially for entrepreneurs because, listen, I'm in digital marketing. You talk about Wolf of Wall Street. I grew up in that environment. I, I had my Series 7 license. I, I, I go hard, bro. I'm the kind of guy that goes to the dance. I was just in Dubai. There's no sense of time over there. Sleeping <laughs> two hours a day. I... I'm going out hard, you know, and when I'm, when I'm going out, I'm, part, I'm, not, I'm working while I'm doing it. I'm network. I'm talking to people. Hey, what can we do? How can we create win-wins? And I go on stage. I'm known for that in the industry. Like, I can go out and I can still make my shit happen. I'll go on stage, rock the fucking crowd, blah, 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 right? But going back to that, I feel like being on this protocol helps you with that, man. I haven't been sick since. I, I get sick maybe once, twice a year, like normal kind of shit. I have flown 115 flights since I got started with you. <laughs> haven't got sick one time. I was in Vegas at a show. Everyone got COVID. Everyone got flu. I never get sick. The glutathione, right? That glutathione, zinc, the vitamin C, I feel like that's the thing that's, that, that helps me. The conjunction, the other stuff I'm taking, the magnesium, it's all interconnected, man. So the point of what I'm trying to say is that, you know, when you're sick and you're bedridden, you, how are you going to fucking make money? How are you going to think of deals, right? I think the people in my industry, they're like artists. They're very, any entrepreneur, you're, the creativity is where the money comes from, right? When you're trying to create a new paper call campaign or create new leads online, you got to be thinking of new angles, new ad angles. And I think the clarity I get the, the, the lack of being, I'm not sick. I can fly 115 flights. People are like, Dave, how the fuck do you do it? I mean, this is giving me my edge. And at the end, of the, entrepreneurs need an edge, right? And I think that's what you're doing. You're collapsing time frames for them. You just said the word. I was, I was, I was waiting for you to, to fi finish that part. Yeah. It's the edge. Yeah. That's what you're talking about, bro. And that's why a lot of athletes don't post them. Oh, I'm a huge majority. <laughs> oh, you think they're never, they, want their, they don't want their, their, their no, the tell me all the time. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, they tell me this all the time. It's like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't want people to know who's my edge. Wow. Oh, all the time. I get that all the time. I never thought about that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that, bro, I hear that all the time. Wow. You know, um, I'm, I'm not the type of guy to also, I, I prefer been doing this for. Fuck, I might not hear this podcast anymore. I don't want my competition <laughs> knowing my edge right here. It's like, I don't get it. <laughs> hey, but you spread the love, bro. But yeah, of course. I'm fucking around. You know, but, really but, but, but the, the thing is like, I, you know, I, but I, I prefer being low key. Um, just because of the community I work with, you know, especially my personal clients, like I, I know they value their privacy and so forth. And so do we, but I hear that all the time, all the time. And, and the thing is, it's not only having an edge, but also because there's, there's services out there that are very similar to what we're doing, but where do we really stand out? And, um, and this is some advice for the general audience out there because they'll, you'll you'll go to a lot of people or even conferences, you know, these biohacking conferences like, oh, you know, this anti-aging and hormone therapy. A lot of people say like, oh, you do um, hormone therapy or you're a hormone clinic. Bro, if you want to annoy the crap out of me, it's like, no, I'm not a hormone clinic. Go somewhere else. Yeah. You know, or you, you do anti-aging. No, that's not what I do. We do medicine. 
head to toe. We do lifestyle management and performance, period. And for that, we need to analyze. You just talked about the water, right? We need to analyze, yes, the water that you're drinking. Like there's a, there's a, there's a, a toxin now in water called astrazine, right? Astrazine, and uh, this is just to give an example. Um, there's one of the guys running for president. He's actually talking about it in his campaigns. He's using this um, as uh, something in his campaigns. So astrazine, it, check this out, dude. In laboratory, will make two male frogs attracted to each other, and they'll uh, they'll have sex and changes their sex. Damn, oh, it's in our water, bro. I'm, I'm like, I, as you were talking, about, I was getting pissed. Okay, it, it bothers me that how the fuck does the government allow this shit to happen, man? It's like crazy. Oh, dude, I, I just today I was talking to. A, it's pretty much America's most prominent attorney, and he sent me this article, whatever that you know something with Kellogg's and da da da, and it's like where they've promised to take out the red 40 and all that garbage from, from the food. And they don't, these are all cancerous molecules, man. We check you in the blood for that. So when you come and tell me, all right, hormone, no, I'm not a hormone clinic. We do epigenetics. So that's really, we base all our science on, on epigenetics, which is to see your rate of aging. So if you're toxic with astrazine and red 40 and this and that and that, you know, yes, it's going to affect your hormonal levels. Yes. It's going to affect your testosterone. Yeah. It's going to affect, but my guys, my, you know, the other MDs and DOs and naturopaths, all, you know, health coaches, it's like, they're looking at the higher level. I'm like, look at the root cause. We have so many environmental toxins and parasites and you're getting hit, man. I'm not trying to be Mr. Doom and Gloom. You're getting hit daily with your daily dose of toxins. And some of them are castrating you. They are cutting your balls off a little bit every day. And then you want to go and be Mr. Entrepreneur. Let's go. Da, 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 da. And you don't have what you were saying before the show, the human currency. And it ain't dollars. It ain't Ferraris. It's called energy. Yeah. That leads to a life of vitality. And you see, so if you're not aligned biologically with your freaking vision board, with what you want to do, you are by default losing. Oh, I'm on the top of the game right now. For how long? For how long? You need to take inventory into what's inside your blood, man. I, I always say that, bro. And and to, to my personal clients, I'm like, I, hey, I'm already, I mean, I'm de I deal with some of the best of the best. They're winning already. And I tell them all the time, we got to keep you there as long as possible. That's the biggest thing. And I mean, be a trendsetter. Be a trendsetter. Take it to the next level. Your performance is intimately connected with your biology. Our audience, rewind. You got to listen to that, what he said again. That is, that is fucking so powerful, right? And that's why I came to you. I'm always looking for an edge. I think any entrepreneur needs to have that edge. And to me, you know, my, my father passed away a month ago, right? 77 years old. That was too young, man. This guy was tops. He was in the tops in the platoon in the Marines. You, you see pictures of him jacked. I mean, it was kind of sad. Like, we were at the funeral in Cranford, and I got, like, pictures of him. Like, what happened to this guy? And I love him. I feel a bit bad even saying that, but... Bro, it's like you let yourself go, right? And shit happens. You start eating the bullshit food that's out there. You don't take care of what you put in your body. That's what happens, man. And like, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go as far as I go. I'm trying to get to like 120 in great fucking shape, yeah. man. I mean, you think that, is that even possible, man? Like, what do you, if someone optimizes themselves, like working with you, like, where do you think we can push our, our life to? What's what's that number? You just hit, actually yeah. hit, hit the nail on the head on, yeah. that's like my life's work. Yeah. Because longevity and performance are connected, right? Take a 1966 Ferrari, right? that's all rusted out and so forth, right? Or, and you take now the same car that's in mint condition. Which one's gonna perform better? The one that's in mint condition. Which one's gonna live longer? The one that's in mint condition and it's been maintained. Yeah. It's the same thing, it's a systems model, right? Now, um, rewind about a year and a half ago, with the lab that we do our epigenetic testing flew to me. They're like, hey, we wanna talk to you, we wanna talk to you. I'm super close with the owner. I'm like, sure. He's like, well, I wanna talk to you in person. I was like, okay. He's like. Do you know who has the largest epigenetic database in the world? I said, I don't know, Harvard? He's like, you do. I'm oh, like, oh, wow. crap. I'm like, oh. I thought you were going to say Google. I'm like, how's that bother? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Because our blood exams are so, not by, not not that we have like 20,000 people. Yeah. He's like, your database is so complex. He's like, because yeah, you do like, you'll do testosterone, but you do gluten, you do cortisol, you do neurotransmitters, you do parasites. He's like, your database is so insanely complex. And he's like, and we're seeing as you guys, because the lab is seeing, oh, th this, this group, their, you know, their treatments are being successful or not being successful and slowing down the rate of aging. And he's like, bro, you guys are top notch. He's like, you guys are actually literally slowing down your client's rate of aging. And we see it. 
you know, one thing's one, two, three, but the other thing is like when you start to hit a couple thousand people and it's like, oh, okay. So we want to publish actually, that's something, and that's my, that's going to be my academic proof to the world. I want to say like, hey, if you do this, 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 yes, it is possible for you to, I'm going to do a little play on words. I love saying this, to die as late, as young as possible. Mm. Okay. There is a huge, just, just so you understand a little bit of my industry, there are some like, I think, crazy docs trying to find the magic pill. One pill, or two pills that you can take that's going to make you live longer. Why? Because then it becomes a patentable uh, uh, thing and they can sell it. Just like, you know, Tylenol's patented and statins are patented and whatever, whatever. And then, you know, I think statins belong to Pfizer and they make X amount of money. It's no, crazy. No, you follow the laws of nature, bro. I'm a very like spiritual guy. You were built in a certain way. The same way the car is built in a certain way, an airplane's built in a certain way. I don't know if you believe in God or whatever, but I I I, I believe in God. You're created. He built you in a certain way. So respect the laws of the grand design, dude. Give your body the glutathione, the amino acids, the peptides, the stem cells, the whatever, whatever. And you'll see your body, you'll see your brain, your energy, and it starts to affect you in even higher quantum levels. I'm super into quantum medicine. Your aura, everything starts to change. Your mood starts to change. And then all of a sudden your life starts to align, dude. I have the craziest stuff happening to me today just because of how aligned my life is. And I'll tell you this in 60 seconds, bro. I, I, I bought a, um, a boat. It's kind of it's big. It's 79. I've seen it online. It's yeah. Gorgeous, yeah. Bro, do you know, bro, this is so crazy. What it, we're in March. I bought it in December. In February, I'm looking through some pictures and I got a little confused. I saw my wife and me, some pictures of her of us on that same boat. But the pictures are six years old. And the oh, and actually, we're in the studio of the guy. He requested me. We're in Roger's studio. Roger requested me a few years ago uh, when I had no money, broke. Mm -hmm. I was figuring this whole thing out to, for some yacht company here in Miami to take some pictures. And we took the pictures. And I was like, wow, I had never been wow. on a boat or whatever. I put that crap on my screensaver. And that's when I was starting to you know, feel better and you know, things were going. Bro, I bought the same boat. That's amazing. I bought the same boat. Bro, it's behind that, my house. That's, that's fucking it's amazing. Like, and I told my wife, yeah. I'm like, holy smokes. I'm like, it's the same did boat. Did she realize that too? Was she like? Yeah, bro. Yeah. We're like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, am I saying it's just because of how we feel? No, but it's part of it. Part of the momentum. It's a snowball effect. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And you, you start to get wins you, and you, you your friends win and everybody's winning, bro. We all, we all win together, man. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Absolutely, dude. So. Yeah, man, it's just a beautiful journey with your biology. But most, it's a nebulous world and a lot of people don't understand. And unfortunately, my kind, the doctors themselves, they don't understand. It's tradition. They're stuck in their own ways, right? And you, you, you have to think outside the box. You're looking at it from like a media bars. Look at shit from a different angle and how do you approach things, right? By looking at that different angle, you're going to get the, the answers and you're going to be doing shit that other people aren't doing. And that's going to make you unique. That's going to give you the edge. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, bro. So, so I, I don't know if you answered the question. What, what what age do you think that is? Like, what, is there a number you think we could push 120, 150? I mean, or I mean, it doesn't even fucking matter. I guess it's just, you know? <laughs> uh, I, so I will warn you, there's a lot of charlatans in the industry, and there's a couple of guys that are getting pretty big that tell you they know when you're going to die. Yeah, and yeah so I've heard about that shit. No, 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 no. Sounds, it's yeah. total bogus, bro. It's okay. total bogus. That Nobody can do that. And, I'm, and I, I, I told you that I do work in epigenetics and research. Uh, but no, there's not a specific answer, okay? Like okay. just, you know, a, a true, if you go uh, to, into the audience out there, you go to somebody that starts playing around with your, you know, oh, I know when you're going to die and this and that. No, they're, don't they're run. Well, I love that answer. That's that's true. That's, that's an honest answer, answer, bro. I can't give you some BS answer, yeah. you know? But can we push the boundaries? And you know, now, yes. I mean, like my own rate, rate of aging, I'm aging right now instead of aging 100% of the 12 months that go by in a year i'm aging at about 75%. Wow. It's called the rate of aging. Yeah, I like that. Um it's a it's a true test called the Dunedin Pace score. We use that test. Uh, it's uh one of the most uh modern epigenetic clocks there 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 are. We're at the fifth generation. They all started around 2015. Right now we're currently at the fifth generation of clocks. So it's like the fifth generation of technologies coming out which is extremely precise. But you, we cannot yet, to, to give you a quantifiable answer, we cannot yet, like, hey, Dave Stodalock, oh, uh, on your track right now, <laughs> 119 in two months. No, you can't do that. I, I love it. That, that goes back, that's tied to my industry too. Like, I went, and I want to talk about this. A lot of our, my success and a lot of people I know success in my industry, and I think any industry comes down to 
being transparent, being truthful. Yeah. And that's exactly what you did. And I think that ties into what I was going to say, ask you. You, you. Obviously, when you're dealing with celebrities, you're dealing with athletes. These are people who are just you know, next level people, right? And they really, their, their health, their appearance is super, super important, right? So, I mean, how, how do you gain their trust, right? I think, and I think once you do gain their trust, it's like, what, what do you do? Maybe is it the transparency? Like you talk to me, is it just your whole process? Maybe it's just a word of mouth. I mean, because to me, that's where the money is. If you create value for someone that's, uh, you know, a high profile, whatever, that's going to open up doors. That that one win will turn into like hundreds of wins, right? Bro, there's, there's, uh, there's celebrities that have brought me millions in business. Sure. Like just because of. And that's as of today. That doesn't wait to 10 years from now. That's, yeah. <laughs> so I've been yeah. super grateful for them. Just like, I, I have no words, bro. Like, you know, I mean, I've, dude, I've, I've made paintings for some of them. I've freaking done like artwork just to add a gratitude. I'm like, it's just like the amount of revenue these guys have brought in just because, but yeah, in the beginning, it's always weird. They're very, very weird to work with. Um, and it's not only them, it's their team. Mm. Sometimes I'll, but, and there's, there's been celebrities I've walked away cause I butting classically the train, you know, the arrogant trainer comes in yeah. and you know, what's this what's that you know or whatever or another doctor steps in or and i'm like listen i'm not up for this you know so that's happened uh maybe like five times where i'm like not nah, just but how do you handle it? do you like warn them like hey this isn't this it, is how it works and if you, i'll show you yeah. all the studies yeah, yeah i tell i tell them look i'll show you all the studies of what we're doing it's nothing i'm i'm making up you know yeah. I, you lead in medicine you lead with studies yeah. okay you lead with the research you lead with the research and here's the research oh like you know a classic one do hormones cause cancer yeah, if they're not bioidentical, okay? If you, 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 for example, your body's producing testosterone, right? You got a little boy, you got a, you're producing testosterone all your life. Does the hormone inside of you cause cancer? No, it doesn't. It's protective, all right? Does the vitamin D inside you cause? No, it's protective. The What's in there is protective. But because we're running out of that stuff sooner than we're supposed to because of how toxic our environment is, you need to replace it. But now if you replace it with a testosterone that's not like yours, then yes, your body will attack it. And it could cause a high level of an inflammatory response leading into a cascade that will culminate in autoimmune disease or neoplasia, which is cancer. Now, you tried it sometimes to prove this to, to other docs that we're, we're trained that a hormone is a hormone. We're not trained in the difference of bioidentical, non-bioidentical, blah, blah, blah. So now sometimes they'll come in with a big team that has different, you know, a little bit more closed mind mindness on this and and yeah it does it does prove difficult but yeah the problem is gaining their trust and but when they do and they feel comfortable man it's like and you help them win more bro you help them bring in those w's they don't let you go dude and then they tell the people they love like i'm bringing my wife now right i brought like people that i work with that i, I like as well that I'm, I'm doing well with like i want them to be healthy because then we're going to keep creating memories, you know, doing a lot of shit together, making money. It's not just about the money, it's about the memories, right? I mean, I know you just came from Europe with your with your wife, probably had an amazing time there. Oh, right? I had and, to, yeah. That was and that's fun. what to me is like, because, you know, when, we, when we're gone, the money's not going to be, you're not going to take it with you, right? You can leave it to your kids or whatever, but you can create those memories and you you go, you go look back at that your picture six years ago, like, wow, that's a fucking yacht. I own that yacht now. Like, or I, I always dreamed about living here. Now I'm living there. It's like, you know what I'm saying? And that's why it's all connected at the end of the day. And that's why I like about it, because like, we have this short amount of time on earth, right? Like, you know, what happens after what happens after we don't know but the point is that bro let's fucking maximize his life man take care of your health take care of this shit yeah and, and and the money thing too um um you know recently i've been getting asked more about like entrepreneur stuff and how to grow a business and blah, 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 especially in my space right other doctors yeah money's great money's a, but it's about what you said it's about living a life of abundance yes and money's just a tool for that right i was able to retire my parents and the wow. thing that Sure, it's it's not the yacht, it's not the cars, it's not the house. Bro, when sometimes I'm looking at the sidewalk of my son holding hands with my dad and my mom and them taking care of him, I'm like, dude, that's what it's about. But you need money for that. Yeah. You know, that's what it's about, dude. And then when you provide abundant value and over-deliver to the people that trust you to exchange this thing called money for a benefit and you over-deliver, dude, Dude, that to me that that makes me oh, stupid happy, bro. That makes me cr crazy happy. You know that to me that's that's I don't know. To me that's success. Yeah, no, for sure. I see it. I see it all day long. So we're talking about money here, obviously, and I think money is and what we're talking about is, is the derivative of the value you create. The more value you create, the quicker you're going to make money. The, the long, more longevity you're going to have with that. So obviously, you're dealing with 
high level people, right? Let's talk about the mindset of the people. You, I, I think that's one thing that I, I know it's medicine and, and you're doing things that are changing our lives, but let's, let's talk about that kind of thing. Like what kind, what's the psychology between, what, what's a commonality, common traits you see with some of these high level people oh, bro, that you work oh, with? Off the rip, it'll roll off my tongue. Ready? It's one word. Ready? It's insane. And I, run, I want to write a book kind of like Napoleon Hill, like interviewing yeah, the, you know, all, all the thing, you know, all those guys. Unfortunately, there's a, uh, I don't know. I, I, I really like, I, I can't, and I won't ma ma mention ever names, but there's one quality these guys all have, bro. It's crazy. And it's not smart. It's not, and I'm dramatizing here a little bit. I'm holding back on what it is. I know. I can't wait to hear it, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's not smart. It's not da da da. They're all hungry as hell. Oh. That's what they're super hungry, bro. You throw something at them. It's like throwing, you know, freaking meat at a dog that like freaking it's like a pit bull bro they destroy like if it's an idea they like they're like i'm down let's go bro. like yeah. they're hungry these guys are not complacent i do get phone calls by the way when they're they're the whole team like their managers uh you know obviously i talk to a lot of managers when these guys are losing their pe the pep in their step i mm. do get i am the guy that gets a lot of those phone calls call it be it a fighter rapper musician actor whatever it may be so you know i'll get the you know this guy's not doing so well because that's also their identifier. When mm -hmm. they lose that appetite, the whole team's like, yo, something's wrong. Yeah. You know, I, I just actually got a referral from another celebrity for a celebrity. The guy is just like, can't give too many details, but you know, I'm like, whoa, was this a, this is a tough one? You know, the guy's just off a cliff. And that's that's what makes them, man. Sometimes it's like, no, they're not, they don't, they're not. <laughs> maybe I don't know about the, IQ and whatever, bro. But they're hungry, dude. It's insane. You you feel it, and you. I'll just I'll, actually. I'll tell you this. Number two would be their confidence. I said this to my staff the other day. I'm like, you know, my staff's there. They know who these people are. I'm like, remember when so and so walked in the office? What do they do? They walk, bro. They walk. You know, me and you will walk into an office somewhere, and we'll stop at the front desk, right? We'll stop and you know look for somebody to. Hey, I'm Dave. You know, hey, I'm. Dr. D, whatever, where do I go? These guys, they walk in, unequivocally, they all do the same thing, dude. The first time they walk into my office, they go straight down the hall as if they're going to go like, they know where they're going. And I'm always, you know, I end up greeting them in the hall. I'm like yeah. at the end of the hall, my office is at the end of the hall. I'm like, where the hell were you going? You know, it's like, you've never been here. It's like this level of confidence, like I own you. They walk in, it's like they own the whole place. I'm like, that's interesting. You know, they don't stop at the front, bro. They just keep going. That's something they all do. It's, it's weird to me. Yeah, I, th I think it's just, they just have a sense of where they're going. They're like, I'm, I, I, let's confidence. fucking go. Is that the LFG shit? Let's fucking go, and right? And confidence, bro. They yeah. have confidence through the roof, bro. And and hormones and confidence, all that, that's all connected. Yeah. Super. And, and I, I want to say something too, because when people hear this that or that don't understand this protocol, they might be wondering like, how does this work? I mean, first of all, it starts with blood work. I, I went to you, you guys looked at my blood work. You identified where were the issues. My, my cortisol levels are through the roof. You know, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but bro, I was pre-diabetic when I started with you. I was shocked about that shit. I'm like, how the fuck is that possible? Well, most people. You know, yeah. it was like, I think that's five point, there's a certain level, which I was right on the borderline, but I think it had to do with this, this whining and dining thing. I'm, I'm always out. I would go to like no boo with people. We'd order everything on the fucking menu. So I would leave stuffed, right? So I think that would spike my blood sugar, all that shit, right? So what I noticed, uh, my, my, I, I went down and I'm not pre-diabetic anymore, but it scared the shit out of me because people on the outside are like, Dave, how the fuck? You mean, you look like you're in great shape. I thought that was a great a sign. Like, guys, if I'm fucking pre-diabetic, what the fuck are you? Get your testosterone, get all this shit checked because you never know. So anyway, with that being said, I made lifestyle changes as a result of this. Obviously, listen, it's not, this is not cheap, man. You got It's an investment you're making yourself. But to me, it's about ROI. If I'm spending X amount, yeah. how much am I going to make back? And I can tell you, it's, it's worked. I've gotten great ROI from this. But the lifestyle changes I made, we're both from Jersey. I fucking love pizza. Yeah. I would have fucking five, six slices. Blah, 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 blah. Now I'm more cognizant. I'll have two. I'll stop at two, right? If I have it once every couple of weeks or whatever the fuck it is. So I think those lifestyle changes, it, and that's the, it comes down to habits because success is all about habits. So if you're gorging yourself at, at no boo, you gorge yourself later. Then before you know it, those, those sugar levels go up. It's all correlated at the end of the day. And over years, that's how you have a fucking belly and this starts to happen. That's how you develop this thing and that thing. Cancer could form, right? So I think that's the biggest thing I got out of this. Is not, there wasn't, it's not like a magic pill, like you said, no. like people were talking about. It, it's the lifestyle change that result because of that. And that to me has been the biggest thing I've gained out of this. So I want to thank you for that. No, I'm, uh, bro, yeah. I'm so grateful for, for your words. And 
And, and, and again, I, I just happen to put the system together. You sit in front of me without blood work and numbers and data. I don't know anything. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. People ask me that all the time. Sometimes, oh, what do I got to do? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know you. Well, but I'm talking to you. No, no, no. I don't know data. I need to see data. And, and that's the thing. We're data driven, right? Yep. Um, once you change that data, like you were saying that those numbers on the prediabetes and so on and so forth, um, the person starts to change their, their anxiety starts to drop. Uh, happiness starts to elevate, which that's a word that entrepreneurs, I feel like, don't use too much. You need to be happy. You're right. It's funny. Yeah, yeah, happiness is not a freaking word, entrepreneurs. How many entrepreneurs do you know that are moping around all day? Oh, yeah, you're right, man. Oh, 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 damn, man. Oh, this, oh, you kind of, man. And they're crushed. They're making all this fucking money, <laughs> yeah. right? No. I've uh, been there, too, man. I, I know. Uh, these guys are, like, crushing it. I'm like, some because I'm talking to these guys. I'm like, I need to understand how your life's going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, okay. All right. There's, there's, uh, I remember this, you know, I told people, I'm like, yeah, that's fucking great, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're, 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 what is it? Um, you're, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. I've said this to people before. You're so poor. All you have is money. Yeah. Wow. That's a fucking banger. <laughs> Rewind that shit, man. <laughs> you're so poor. All you have is money, bro. Wow. Some people, it's just not in them. They can't find the happiness, bro. And then the treatment helps them with that too. Yeah. You know, and and that's huge. I'm like, what's the point of you hustling like this? You know, happy and hustle should be together, bro. Enjoy life. Exactly. Smile. Yeah. You know, do something good for somebody. You know, co contribute. Tell your wife, you know, something nice. Do something. Yeah, bro, be happy. Spread the happiness, bro. What are you, what are you doing all this for? Yeah. You know, it's like the, happiness is very important, man. That's that's something that I... I, with our protocols, we look to, to, to increase in people's happiness. It's like, how happy are you? You sit down with somebody and ask them, are you happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. No, no, no. Wait, I asked you a question. Are you happy? You ask that enough to certain people, so certain, you ask that enough times, trust me, I've done this. People will just start break down and crying. No, I'm not. I'm like, all right, let's talk about it. And then lots of times I'm seeing it in the blood. And I think it goes back to your story with the, the guy who, was moping. He probably was successful on paper, right, financially, but his wife drags him in there, oh, I'm moping. And then he was so, you made him happy, right? You, you, well, you helped him. You, he, he actually followed the direction, right? He, his Happiness wife. just comes from within. Yeah, it comes from within, but you opened that door and he walked through that door, which I think is amazing. Yeah. Right? But it's, it's that key word, how you feel. This yeah. all boils down to how you feel. Like, anybody comes close to you, bro, you have a ball of energy, like freaking happy, like a guy that you, you come close to you, like your aura, your vibe. It's like, this guy will help me. This guy will do good for me. Don't cross him too. He's from Newark, New Jersey. He has a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. But you can Brick tell City that. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, and you can feel that from you. Yeah. And, and, and that's something that it's, it attracts people to, to, to do business. It attracts people to be around and to network and so forth. And, and, um, and quality number three of a lot of these high rollers too, their energy levels are through the roof, man. They come, they can do more stuff. More successful people can do more stuff. It's like, wait, how many years you've been on this earth? 37 and you've done all this. Why are you so accomplished? Higher energy levels. You could either live longer or have more energy. You know, do how do these people do so much? They have so much energy. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's the ultimate currency. I really think that I should try, could try to trademark that shit, man. Energy is the ultimate currency, man. I see it. I mean, Tony Robbins, right? I saw him in 2006, 2007. I forgot how old, I think he's like 65. To me, he belongs in the fucking Hall of Fame. I mean, that's like, he's like, he's like an athlete. He's been doing this for like six decades, five decades, whatever it is, on stage, all like, rah, rah, rah. Like, it's just crazy that energy. But he's also doing these kind of things. He's looking at his levels. You know, oh, heard, he's super yeah, into that. You have to be. That's the only way you can you can do what he does. I mean, LeBron James, whether you like him or not, man, the, he spends a lot of money. He invests in his body. He gets it, man. That's why he has so much longevity. That's why he's a points, leading point scorer, right? So whether. You can't discount that. No matter what you think about it, it's all in the numbers. His numbers, he's the highest scorer of all time. He's still fucking going. He might win another championship. So it's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. I mean, but these guys all have an edge. And yeah. if you're out there and you're not doing anything, just like taking inventory of your pantry, I mean, and God forbid you have kids and you're letting them eat a bunch of garbage and all that stuff. If you're not taking inventory on your biology, you are losing. Absolutely. If you're not supplementing today, you are losing, period. You know, it, it it's part of our of our day to day in this cement jungle we live in. You know, because people ask me, Doc, do I need to do this all my life? Is this something? Is this a new? Is this a new lifestyle? I'm like, 
yeah, as long as you're living in these cement jungles, go move into the middle of the Amazon and breathe fre fresh air and drink fresh water and, you know, no, you won't need it there. But here, yeah, 100%. Absolutely. You, know, you got to adapt. I mean, unfortunately, we're in this, we're in America, right? There's a lot of development going on. There's stuff in the air. You got to be pro proactive, preventative is what it comes down to. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so I did, we, we were talking about magic pills, right? And people want to be happy. And I, I, I don't want to get you in trouble here with, with what I'm about to say, but like, <laughs> you know, that right now there's a craze going on with a certain pill, right? With, with those Zempic and these kind of drugs. Like, what are, what, if, if, what are your opinions on that? Because I, I think, and I could be wrong, I feel like if you take, really take care of yourself and you do the stuff we're doing, you don't need that shit, you know? And there is no such thing as a magic pill because even with that, there's all these side effects. I'm, I'm in lead generation. There is a, a tort going on where they're getting ready to like, you know, hit these guys, man, for like all these side effects. I heard that people are getting crazy diarrhea. They can't stop. I mean, so, so what do you, what do you think about these things? I mean, is, is it really necessary? So these hardcore medications, it, um, and then I, I won't get in trouble. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> but it, uh, there comes a point. This is how I, I'll, okay. I'll frame it this way. If you've been eating cheeseburgers and da 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 all your life and you came to us with no problems, no severe problems. Yeah, sure. We could probably, you know, uh, but if you've come to us acutely, because of what you've done chronically to your life, then yeah. I'm like, listen, man, you were unhealthy your whole life. Now you have a big, big problem, like a cancer or an autoimmune or something like that. Autoimmunes are still, sometimes still, still salvageable, but you came with a big problem, super strong heart disease, like you're about to have a big one. You're about to make somebody a widow. And then it's like, yeah, then there's, there's drugs that I'm like, my job is to save your life as naturally as I can. That's it. That's what I tell myself. I got to save your life. And naturally, when it comes into a different scenario, that's not a conversation between me and you. My job is to keep you performing as, as freaking as best as I can. But when somebody comes in life-threatening, you know, and we have a great deal, we have cardiology, neurology, we have a great team for that. It's like, yeah, maybe we're going to use a PCSK9 inhibitor, whatever, that's a drug for, for the heart. Or maybe we got to use a GLP-1 analog, you know, um, which it would be the Ozempic and so forth. But yeah, the, the usage of it, right now is totally abused and and it's 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 excessive you know so there's a place for it but your thing is just being it's being looked upon as a magic pill and being abused right now is what you would say oh yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely i mean it's just and it's not done right you I mean you see these chicks and dudes take ozempic and they're skinny fat and they're all yeah. flabby all over the place because it's destroying muscle and so on and so forth um you know there's a place and time for it yeah and i think what it comes down to there, there's really no shortcuts at the end of the day even like what, 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 I, what I'm doing with you and what these athletes are doing, it's a piece of, in their arsenal, right? Among other things. You, yeah. After you're athlete, you got to train, you got to eat well. So it's not like I'm going to go to you and you're going to put me on a regimen and I'm going to keep eating like shit. Like you got it. It's all connected at the end of the day, right? So yeah. that's what it comes down to. And I think a lot of, a lot of people want that magic pill. They don't want to work hard for it. So they take it and then they have these side effects and like, what, what the fuck? Whereas if they do it right properly, you know, invest in themselves with someone like you, change their habits. Then they got longevity. It's consistency at the end of the day. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, absolutely. That's how you do it. And and it's where you set a mindset of higher standards all over. I tell I tell people all the time, listen, you're doing something weird, right? Because we have them injecting themselves daily, taking capsules, doing this, nasal sprays for that, whatever, all, whatever. Now you're doing all this weird stuff, IVs, and you know sometimes our clients are really into it. They get red light beds at home, hyperbaric chambers. I'm like, all right, now you're really hacking. So these standards have to be pervasive all over. So yeah. I'm like, okay, now you got to work out, you got to eat right and so forth, you know? Yeah. No. It has to be all over. I love it. Listen, we can go on. I think we have to do another one of these. There's there's <laughs> so much information here and it's all super valuable. I mean, we work hard and we all like everyone I know in my circle, that's, so we, we boss our asses, right? And, and we live good lives. But to me, it's like you could have all the money in the world, but if you're not taking care of your health that shit goes out the window right and especially with my, yeah especially with my dad passing has put a whole new perspective on things for me i'm trying to be really a lot more present when i'm home with my kids when i'm there i'm there right and i feel like the last month i've been a lot more present with them because they're gonna that's the shit they're gonna remember they're gonna remember you know whatever fuck you spent money on they'll remember the vacations or whatever but i think that's that's the key and, and you man i feel like i'm so glad i found you at the age i found you at you know because i feel like i'm gonna live a long ass time my kids are gonna we're gonna have memories man i don't want to I don't want them to, you know, get a, you know, I died all of a sudden out of, from a fucking heart attack or some shit. Because right? that happens all the time, man. And I want them to know, like, hey, we went out together. We did this. We did that. And, like, hey, and I, I'm setting the standard for them. I'm setting the bar for them, right? So I appreciate that, man. And I don't know, man. I, I We got to wrap this up. But this fucking Dr. D, this, this guy's amazing. 
How can how can people find you, man? Biohacks.com. Um, and our Instagram is also biohacks with an S B I O H A X and then an S. Yeah, I'm glad you spelled it out so people <laughs> won't get confused. And uh so Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, anything else? Any yeah, we're on LinkedIn too. Same thing, Biohacks, yeah. B-I-O-H-A-X. Yeah. Follow him on Instagram because you talk, you talk, you have a great Instagram, by the way, your pro, your, your whole presence there because you, you're talking about what we're talking about here. You hit, you have some nuggets on there and it's also your your lifestyle too. It's, it's very aspirational and you worked hard for this shit. I know recently, yeah. I know we're supposed to wrap up, but you paid off your student loans recently, right? I saw like you put Still going, letter. still going, man. That, yeah. that, it's, well, me and my wife is 1.5 million. Wow, I didn't even know. I'm, I'm, thank you for sharing that number. I didn't know that. Yeah. 1.5 million? Wow. Yeah, and with I, interest I, now, yeah. I, I thought it'd be like a few hundred thousand, which is still a lot, because as a you know, medical school. She's a dentist. So yeah, she no, she, she's got bio dent, right? Yeah, she's a holistic dentist, yeah. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I want to check that out at some point, yeah, too, because yeah. that's also a whole other conversation. It all connected to your brain, oh, right? Bro, yeah, yeah. I always say, don't go to a doctor that doesn't look at a mouth, and don't look at a, don't go to a dentist that, that that doesn't look at a body. It's all connected, you yeah. know? Damn. So going back to what I was saying, you know, he, he's like, you don't have to share that with the world. Like, you know, I had all this money in student loans, but you did it. You paid off. I saw one of you paid off 75 grand. I think one of your aunts co-signed for one like years yeah. ago. She, that, you showed her. That's part of your story, man. And you're yeah. not afraid to show your story. You talk about the good shit, the bad shit. Like, you're not afraid, man. And I think that's the new, we're in an age where people appreciate, they appreciate that authenticity, man. So follow him on Instagram because I'm telling you, you will get nuggets, whether you're a client of his or not, it'll help create value. And that's what we're here to do. Fucking create value, right? And I appreciate you, man, bringing me on. And just the energy that you have towards me and towards what I've done, and like you, you've you've really been so kind to me, man. And I and and now and always, you know, before it's always good to run into you, bro. Your energy yeah. rubs off in a beautiful way, bro. So I really appreciate. I appreciate you, man. that, man. That Newark, New Jersey shit. Let's go, <laughs> man. Let's go. All right, let's fucking. This is great. LOG fam, listen to this shit. Listen to it twice. Listen to it three times. <laughs> get your health in order. Get fucking checked out. Let's fucking go, baby.